I look like a ghost because it's so bright out. What's up guys, it's Cameron here, back with another video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn those post notifications on so that you don't miss an upload. Today we are in the car. I feel like I haven't filmed in the car in a while, but I'm actually on my way to go to a few stores because we're gonna be doing a hygiene shop with me video today, which I am so excited about. I have been looking forward to doing this video for so long because I wanna go to a bunch of stores and just see what they have. I like Marshalls, TG Maxx, Burlington. I'm gonna go to Ross for the first time, like those kind of stores, which I'm so, so hyped about. It is Friday, February 12th. It is 12 p.m. I was gonna go earlier, but it just didn't really work out how I wanted to, but we're still good. We have plenty of time. I just hit a yellow light, but it's okay. We're not in a rush. But yeah, I'm really excited. I do wanna quickly just say to you guys though that I do wanna give some credit to Chloe Yasmin for this video idea. I feel like I personally got the idea from her and I feel like she was the first one to start doing this and I don't wanna take credit for it in any way, shape, or form. I don't typically film in stores that often and when I do, I'm very shy about it, whispering, holding my phone low. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna bring my camera in or use my phone and I'm a little bit nervous to bring my camera in but then again, I kinda want the quality to be better for you guys and the volume is just so much better on my camera than my phone. So if I am whispering in the store, you'll hear me a little better on my camera So I want to go to a bunch of stores I am gonna go to the Marshalls TJ Maxx in Burlington that are near my apartment first and see what they have in there And then I'm probably going to try to go to Ross, which is about 10 minutes away from here and then I Want to go to a Walmart not my local Walmart I want to go to a different Walmart because I ordered something to pick up there But I didn't get the notification that it's ready yet and I ordered over 24 hours ago and they said it was gonna be ready like last night but never got a notification I keep trying to call them and no one's answering and they literally charged me so hopefully throughout my shopping I'll get a call from them if not I'll go there and I'll just like show them it let them know it's funny because I've been um, looking into like a lot of discontinued tree hut scrubs on you know eBay and all those things and they're so overpriced but I really wanted to get some because I you know I like to have all the scents but I was like you know what I'm going on this shopping sh trip to Marshalls and TJ Maxx and they typically people say they typically have them there I have never found a tree hut scrub at any of these places so maybe today I'll be lucky like I think today's gonna be my lucky day and I'm gonna find something that I don't have that I have been wanting oh quickly I also did want to run into home goods real quick after because there's one near here um, because I'm looking for like a bar cart shelf kind of thing to put like my blender and our air fryer on because if you guys have been seeing my videos our kitchen is very very crowded and it is very annoying okay i just got here there isn't ollie's over here too but the one time i went they had nothing good but a lot of people will find good stuff there and i'm like i am i did not the one time i went so maybe we'll go there i don't know let's just see how these these trips go first okay there's two huge fire trucks in front of tj maxx what is going on um i'm a little bit confused no big deal we're just gonna loop around because this like plaza or store center shopping center whatever loops around so i'm just gonna loop around and go to burlington first or maybe since we're looping around we'll just go to marshall's first because marshall's is on the other side oh about ross in new jersey i don't have any ross near my my house um but there is a ross near my apartment here in maryland so that's what i'm planning on looking into all right guys we got a spot right in front of marshall's let's get inside i'm so excited all right let's head into marshall's i don't even know where to start like these stores overwhelm me low-key okay this is my favorite place to get like shower tools i need more turby twists so that is definitely something that i need to pick up today so i'll just get it here what are these Ooh, cute quick hair turban hold on two pack of hair turbans are they microfiber though oh these are these are cute all right how much 4.99 for two i'm gonna get these ones what's this i like purple so i'm gonna throw out my old ones so i'm gonna clean this up by the way guys oh these ones i like gray and white okay what do they have what colors kind of like the loofah ones but i'm gonna get this is so cute i would love to have one of these but I'm not gonna get it. I, have two, I don't have space for it. Seven dollars for three of these products. I wouldn't use the deodorant though, but I definitely want the body wash and the body lotion. So I think I'm gonna get it. This looks cute. Let's look at the fragrances over here. I really want a new Viva La Juicy, but it's fifty dollars, which isn't even that bad because it's on sale here. But I don't know if I want to spend that much right now. Let's look more at the body sprays. 
I have the cloud body spray. This used to be one of my favorite perfumes ever. How much? It's $54. What are these? I feel like I've seen these before. So this big bottle, how much? $4.50, I'm getting one. Let me find which scent I want. Cucumber, tea tree, grapefruit. What is that one? Tea tree, triple. All right, guys, first trip is complete. I just went to Marshall's, got a few things. I wasn't really like in love with anything there. So I'm hoping that we do better at the other stores. We're gonna go to Burlington next and then TJ Maxx. So I'm like, I'm mainly excited to go to Ross though because I haven't been there. Put that there for a second. It's not even on the tripod. All right, um, put this in the back. I'll show you guys everything I got when I get back to my house. Um, also, I'm gonna go, Burlington and TJ Maxx are right next to each other, so I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna try to park in between the two stores. All right, my camera isn't even on its tripod and I don't feel like putting it on, so I'll talk to you guys in a minute. All right, let's go into Burlington. I am excited. Burlington is usually the most organized one out of all. Yes, you guys, it is so organized in here and this stuff all looks so good. What do we want? Ooh, I like this rose stuff. It would be good for like a Valentine's Day. Cleansing body wash rose, how much? $5.99 and then there's a lotion. All right, we'll come back to that because there's a lot. Okay, I didn't end up getting this in um, Marshall, so maybe we'll get it here. I'm looking around for some good stuff. There's so much more stuff here I can tell already. Okay, I'm already seeing something that I wanna look into right here. These Dove Beauty Creams. I wanna get this one. First thing we're grabbing. I feel a lot calmer in here because there's not as many people around me. Okay, what is this? Body Mousse. Cucumber Time Matcha Tea. This sounds so cool and it's $3. I think I'm gonna get it. And also, Jergens Body Wash. I need this, I'm getting this for sure. $3, amazing. These are both getting put in the cart. Yes, we are finding good stuff. All right, let's see what these are because these are some bar soaps and Beauty Cream Bar. I might get one of these, how much? For four bars, it is four dollars. All right, I don't know if I really need that, so we'll come back to it. Oh my god, they have this one too. Oh, I think I'm gonna get this one also because these look so good. I love these little lavender sets they have down there. They're so cute. Anything else we see? Oh my goodness, I've been seeing this on Amazon and I want it. Oh my god, it's three dollars. I'm getting this foot scrub. You know I see Tree Hut and I'm purchasing it. If you know me, then you freaking know my obsession with tree hut. What is this? Avena collagen. This stuff looks so good. Coconut essence hydro mist. What is this? Oh, it's this facial mist. We don't do those. Well, I don't do those. We're doing really good so far here. More stuff. I think this is all like hair stuff. But we're still going to look because we want to make sure we don't miss anything good. The shelves are a little empty. Although they're organized, they are empty. But look at me already finding good stuff. So in reality, is it really that bad? Do I see anything that looks... There are some body products over here too besides hair stuff. This is all makeup, which I don't usually buy makeup from here because a lot of times it's expired. Kind of like how this looks is pomegranate and acai berry. I don't even know how it smells though. These are huge. Okay, they have them over here. Oh, they have a smaller one. Rose petal. I have even better Nivea scents here. Let's see. This one is Goodbye Stress. I think it's in another language, but so cool. Coconut. What is this? Hibiscus perfume. Let me see if I'm able to smell it through this mask. I kind of like how this Goodbye. It's not even in English, though, so I don't really know what's in it. Then we just have the basic cream soft one. How much is it? I don't even think it says the price. Okay, these are $4.99. There's a coconut one with jojoba oil. Welcome sunshine. Let me smell this if I can. Get the pink one too. Oh wait, what is this? Wait, that's one I already got. No, I'm just gonna get the one that I got, the intense hydration one. What is this? Mint leaf eucalyptus body wash. Oh, Nivea bar soap. Nivea has bar soap. Should we try these? Cream soft. Should we try them? Six pack for six dollars eh, i don't know if i need all that though that's the thing like that's a lot orchid and cashmere i keep smelling these nivea ones this one smells all right i can't really smell it that well to be completely honest with you guys they have so many body sprays by the checkout they have cloud which i already have um some good ones okay guys took forever in burlington the line because they only had one person at the register I'm going to tj maxx now 
Okay, I'm in TJ Maxx. I'm gonna just try to find some stuff. I put my Burlington bag in the car already. It's organized in here. Marshall's was so disorganized. All right, let's just look in here. Also, I ended up not getting those big body wash and lotions from um, Burlington. So, ooh, this looks good. How much? Six dollars. That's kind of a lot. I feel like super bath fizz. This seems kind of cool. I like this. How much? I can't really see the price. Oh, three ninety nine. That's pretty good. I'm gonna get it. Like, I love how they have all these big soaps. What scents do they have? What's diamond? Let's smell it. I don't really like the smell. I think I got it on my nose. Not gonna lie. They always have raw sugar hand soaps, but I never see body products. Oh wait, I've heard that the Adidas shower gel is really good. So I'm gonna grab one for three ninety nine. Look at all these bar soap. Oh my god. Okay. The thing is, like, the single ones are a little pricey always. How much? Moroccan and argan oil. $4 for four bars. And this is just the Dove Beauty Bar, which I've never heard is really good. I don't know. I might get these. I'll put them in my cart. And I'll decide later. Oh, this. Oh, another Adidas. I do want to try the Pacifica ones, but I don't like this scent. I've smelled it before. I have another Adidas body. What is the scent, though? I should smell them. Ugh. Exfoliators, but of course they don't have any tree hut. This is kind of cool. I literally cannot find any tree hut, which I'm sad about. It's like I keep hearing people people find like the discontinued scents here, and like I have not. I've gone to CJ Maxx, Burlington, and Marshalls. So I'm hoping Ross is gonna be the one. I'm just looking in the furniture real quick to see if I can see any like shelves for my blender like i was talking about i was gonna go to home goods but i might just go tomorrow all right guys i am back in my car i just went to an ntj max i got a lot of stuff but i'm still gonna go to ross i'm gonna put it into my gps because i don't know exactly how to get there okay it's an eight minute drive that is literally nothing big shopping center where we're at here okay this is not a super big ross i'm pretty sure that there's typically a lot bigger actually it might be bigger and i just can't tell it might go back further yeah I'm so excited. I'm about to go in. All right, we have found the hygiene section. We got some more Nivea body washes here. What are these? Shower gels. Oh, interesting. <laughs> that looks kind of cool down there. Moisturizing collagen body wash. I feel like they have nothing. All the shelves are empty. I'm curious if this is everything that they have. This is so disappointing, guys. I was so excited. Awesome. I have to get it. Oh, they have the OGS lavender lotion. I have that already. Oh, wow. That is a big philosophy body wash and it's locked up. Like, the shelves are literally empty. Okay, this looks kind of cool. How much? $3.99. I'm not going to get it because I think that I got a Dove lotion in that box and I don't know if it's the same scent. Even hair stuff, they barely have any. This is disappointing. We might have to hit up some more stores. Okay, we got a few bar soaps down there, but I don't want them. Some, like, random brand bar soaps. Hmm. This, this is cute. I have a a jade one already, but that color is cute. This is the only scrub they have. It's huge. They have Maui hair mask. They have this, but I don't really want this. What's this stuff? Foot massager? That's interesting. I'm gonna look around and see if there's another like section. Okay, I just got out of Ross. That was literally a fail. Shelves were empty and not just the hygiene shelves, like everything. The store was so empty. I got two things because I actually did see like two lotions that I, I wanted and they were cheap. But like, what the heck? I was so excited and it was just not worth it. Your order pickup is ready. Please pick up. Bye. Okay. Okay, so this one Walmart that's seven minutes away says that it has two of the tree hut scrubs in stock that I'm looking for. So we're just gonna go there and figure it out and just see. And then I have to actually drive to one that's like 20 minutes away because I ordered the frosted sugar cookie tree hut scrub to there and it's ready for pickup. I was scared that they actually weren't gonna have it and it was just I was gonna get that message that like oh the item you ordered is now no longer in stock because it's happened to me many times before because they were supposed to let me know by last night that I could pick it up but they hadn't so I'm like oh great but I just got the text so of course I'm in the completely opposite direction which is totally okay because it's not a big deal. I am driving to this one Walmart near here at first. We're gonna be on a mission to look for the black charcoal sugar scrub and the lemon and blueberry tart sugar scrub you know like people steal from walmart i'm not gonna lie because i didn't even put two and two together i'm like why does walmart always say online that items are in stock when they're not and like 
you know, they usually like sometimes don't update it, but like even even so, like items will stay for so long. I'll keep checking back and back and back, and like it'll still say it's in, say it's in stock for weeks. And I'm like, why does it still say that it's in stock? And my friend was like, you know, people always are stealing from Walmart. They probably don't update it or whatever because they don't have the item in stock, but they don't. It didn't go through their system because someone stole it. I'm like, wow. We have arrived at Walmart. This Walmart I've never seen before. I literally was like, thought I was driving. It's like an abandoned parking lot. That's what it looked like. All right, guys, we are here. Let's hope we find these two things that we're looking for, and I'll talk to you guys when I get inside. Yeah, this stuff is black um, charcoal scrub right there. And it also says Marilla scrub, which is literally discontinued. <laughs> so I'm assuming people just throw it on there until it says it's in stock. I guess over here we'll look around this stuff a little. Also, I want to see if they have the brown sugar dove body polish. But I just don't know where anything is. I do want to try, well, I've tried it before, the Nivea wet skin lotion. Ooh, I didn't know they had a rose one of this. I mean, I don't need it, but. Guys, I didn't even know they had the oatmeal body lotion and I got the body wash, so I want to get the lotion. So I'll definitely use this. Oh my God, they have this. I have been wanting this one so bad and I got it, oh my God. Okay, I'm so happy. Of course they have like no body conditioners. There's a lot of people in here, this is embarrassing. Oh wait, these are definitely new. I would like to try these one day, but not right now. I have been wanting to try this Dove antibacterial body wash just because I feel like it would be really good, but I think I'm gonna get it. They also have the bar soap ones though, which I kind of like too. Oh, they have winter care. I think I'm gonna get it. This is a really good Walmart. Like I, maybe I just don't live around good Walmarts because I've never seen so much. Oh my god i need it i've never seen so much good stuff before people are saying that you can find tree hut scrubs in the valentine's section so i actually don't see tree hut scrubs i see body ecology they said that they would have tree hut scrubs over here it's probably just sold out though okay guys i am out of walmart it was a successful trip but i did not get anything that i went in there for they didn't have the scrubs i honestly should have known this always happens at walmart but i had faith like i don't know i had hope in this walmart for some reason but i don't know it got it was like really crowded in there and like when i first went in the like um hygiene or body care aisle was like empty and i was so happy and then so many people started coming over there okay so my order's ready for pickup at this walmart it's a 23 minute drive so we're just gonna jam out to some music while i drive i'll talk to you guys when i get there okay guys i had a nice jam sesh on the way here i'm about to pull into walmart and on my way here i passed a ross and tj maxx it's literally like probably a minute away so i'm just gonna go there after okay we have reached the destination i kind of am starting to have to pee and i'm getting hungry so after walmart we're gonna run to ross and tj maxx and head home all right we're heading into walmart we're gonna look around a little bit and then pick up all right the valentine section was right at the front of the store so i'm looking in here literally keep walking into people it's so awkward okay i'm about to look in the hygiene section and then go pick up my order i really want to try the uda juice want perfumes but um i don't really want someone to have to come here and open it and i don't know which ones smell good i grabbed these i don't have a cart so okay guys i don't want to put my camera up because i'm about to get out in like two minutes but i really have to pee so we're gonna make it really really quick because i feel like i'm already over here i might as well just go for the ross and tj maxx also they had my scrub and i got a few other things i have definitely done some damage today tj maxx let's go hopefully we find some gems yeah. okay that was literally here. I walked in, the shelves were like almost empty. I didn't find anything good. I'm not even gonna go to Ross, honestly. So my camera is about to die. The battery thing is flashing. I am about to head back to my apartment. I did want to go to Bath and Body Works because say they have aromatherapy for $6.95 and they have some really cool new aromatherapy products, but I really have to pee. I'm hungry. When I get back, I'm gonna change my camera battery and give you guys a haul of everything I got. And yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys everything. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I am back at my apartment. I have a ton of stuff to show you guys i literally put almost everything in this huge bag and then one thing still didn't even fit in there so i'm just going to show you guys everything i got in order of like where i went i got at least one thing from everywhere besides that last tj maxx i went to okay so pretty much we'll start with marshall's so marshall's had some pretty good stuff i did really need to go in there or not just specifically in there but i was on the lookout today for some new turvy twists so i got a pack of gray and white ones two of them i like the microfiber ones i also got this purple 
little lavender one. I really like this one too. I also been wanting like a brush like this to scrub my back. I have one the, of the like wooden ones, but it the thing comes off and it keeps falling off. So I got one like this. I have been wanting to try a body yogurt from the body shop for so long. So I saw the British Rose one at Marshall's and I didn't even get to smell it, but oh, it smells so good. And you can literally just tell the consistency is amazing. This was $6.99. The body polish is usually a lot more expensive than that. Also, I forgot to tell you guys the price of these things. I want to share the price for everything. This was $3.99. This two pack was $4.99 and then the single pack was $3.99. And I wanted to try out this body wash. I've seen it before and I always see it when I'm in there. This is the Giovanni one and this huge container is only $4.50. I didn't even get to smell it, but this is a grapefruit sky scent and I'm just really excited to try this and it's such a pretty bottle too. And last but not least from Marshalls, I got this Dove set. I always see this there. So I'll show you guys everything that is inside this. So it has like this little wrapping in it. Oh, it comes with a little loofah. It does come with a spray deodorant, which I did go aluminum free for deodorant. So I'll probably just give this to Brandon or something. I'm sure he would use it. Actually, it might be, never mind, Jasmine Flowers. I don't know. Or I'll give it to my sister. I'll give it to someone. So, oh, they're just mini sizes. I thought they were bigger. So this is the Dove Relaxing Jasmine Petals and Coconut Milk Body Wash. Then this is a body lotion. It's a restoring ritual body lotion with coconut oil and almond milk. They are the mini bottles. I didn't realize that they weren't full size, which is totally fine because I can try them out. To be completely honest with you guys, I feel like the stuff I found at Burlington was really like so, so good. So my bag is super heavy from Burlington. Let's show you guys everything I got. So first I was able to find one Tree Hut product all day today. And this is the Tree Hut Tropical Blends Mint Foot Cream. I always see this on Amazon, but it's like priced at like $14 and I got it for $2.99. Then I actually didn't know that Jergens had body washes until I saw Living Ash's recent video. And I didn't even go there looking for them. Like I was just like, okay, whatever. But I happened to see like so many of them in Burlington. So I got the Deep Restoring Argan Oil Infused Body Wash from Jergens. And then I got the Enriching Shea Butter Oil Infused Body Wash from Jergens. And I didn't even smell them, but I have a feeling they smell good. Okay, yeah, this one smells so good. It literally smells like the lotion for it. I think that I I think I have that one. Okay, it kind of smells a little weird, this one, but I also don't really know. Like, I can't really... It doesn't really have much of a smell. For a second, I low-key thought it smelled like throw up, but I think I was just going crazy. You get this much product. It's literally 22 fluid ounces for $3 a bottle, which is amazing. And I never seen these anywhere else besides here. Okay, I saw this and I was really interested in it. It is a Nivea Body Mousse Crispy Cucumber and Matcha Tea for dry skin. Um, I don't really know what this does. I think it's like a moisturizer, but mousse form. And I just wanted to try it. I've never had something like this before. This is $2.99. I also got one Nivea Body Wash. I really like the smell of this one it is the scent welcome sunshine it has some other language on it i don't know what it is but it smelled really good i smelled a bunch of different nivea ones because they had so many and this was my favorite and this huge bottle was only 4.99 and last but not least i got the dove intensive cream i'm so excited i've heard such good things about this cream and i'm just so excited to try it and this is 3.99 okay so that was everything from burlington so now we have tj maxx so I was able to find the Adidas shower gels in there, which I've also heard were really good. And I never knew Adidas had shower gels, but then I started hearing that they were good. So I got one and I didn't even smell it. They had the orange one too, but I picked this one. Oh, it smells good. It's a very light scent. Then I saw this. This I was super interested in. It is the Hemp's Exotic Green Tea and Asian Pear In Shower Hydrating Herbal Body Moisturizer. I am always up for an in shower moisturizer. They are so amazing. This was $4.99. So I saw that they had the Dove Beauty Cream Bars there. So I got a four pack. This was $3.99. And I also saw this there. This is the Dove Silky Nourishment Body Cream. It just says Deep Care Complex. This was, I believe, $3.99. So I'm excited for this. And last but not least from TJ Maxx, I just got some nail brushes. This is a two pack for $3.99. And I saw, I think it was Chloe Yasmin talking about cleaning your feet with these. And I really liked that. So I got them. Okay, so next is Ross. And Ross was honestly a failure for my first time there. But I saw two things there that I grabbed. I just got the Vaseline Intensive Care Aloe Soothe Lotion. This is for dry skin. It just got on my nose. Smells very faint and good. Um, and then I just saw this Jergens Daily Moisture Hydrates and Smooths. Proves texture for visibly skin. This is another lotion. This was $2.99. This one was $3.99. And then I went to two Walmarts to 
so I'll show you what I got at the first Walmart. I got the most stuff at this store, and it's funny because my Walmart purchase was much more expensive than my other purchases, but I'm just going to show you guys everything. So I was able to find the Olay Exfoliating and Revitalizing Himalayan Soul and Pink Grapefruit Body Wash, which I'm so hyped about. I'm trying to pick up all of the body washes from Olay's line, and I found most of their new ones, but I hadn't found this one. So when I found this one today, I was so excited. So I saw this there, and I was really excited. This is the OGX Shea Soft and Smooth Body Wash. I wish they had the lotion there too, but I know they sell it on Amazon. So I'll probably just get it on there this it smells freaking amazing Okay, I did get a Nivea in shower body lotion and the cocoa butter scent I used to actually use these all the time when I was younger But I stopped and I wanted to use it again because I'm obsessed with in shower body lotions I got the retinol nighttime rinse off body conditioner to match my body wash I have been looking for this one So I'm really excited that I found it and I'm also out of my other Olay body conditioner So I'm glad I have another one I also found the st. Ives body lotion and the oatmeal and shea butter scent Which is the body wash that I recently picked up so I wanted to buy the lotion and this was only like I think three dollars i'll go through the prices with everything for these after because i actually have to look on the receipt as much as i've always loved and used dove i don't really have many dove products here at school because most of my dove products my mom would buy at home so i wanted to pick some up so i saw two there that i really really wanted in the body washes so this is the antibacterial care and protect dove body wash which i love how that sounds antibacterial i feel like that's just great and then also the winter care one this restores and nourishes dry winter skin i really liked this and i think i've used this one before and i'm just really excited for both of these so i'll just tell you guys how much all this stuff oh wait i got one more thing they had no tree hut scrubs but i did want to try the hemp body scrub in the original hemp scent and i'll just tell you guys how much everything was the olay body wash was 7.97 the olay body conditioner was 5.97 the st eyes lotion was 3.93 the hemp body scrub was 4.97 which is super good for this big container of it the nivea in shower body lotion was 5.48 the ogx shea body wash was 5.74 the dove Dove antibacterial one was $5.94 and the Dove winter care one was $5.94 so I feel like everything was pretty good prices and yes it was $48 my total but I got some really good stuff so I'm pretty happy with everything that I got from Walmart and last but not least I had to go to another Walmart to pick up an online order purchase literally let me show you guys what that online order purchase was it is a tree hut scrub that I have been looking for for months and I haven't been able to find because it's sold out everywhere but this Walmart luckily had it so that is the frosted sugar cookie tree hut scrub originally i never was interested in buying this specific scent but i got really into more like vanilla-y sugary scents over time so i was really wanting this one and i heard that it smells like vanilla which like more than the tahitian vanilla bean so oh my god it kind of reminds me of like i guess yeah like a sugar cookie like it literally smells like a sugar cookie I don't really smell vanilla, but this smells so good. Like, I'm I'm really excited about this. Like, I want to eat it. Like, that's how good it smells, but obviously I'm not going to eat it. But anyways, I picked up a few things while I was there, too. So I actually have a cherry blossom salt scrub from Tree Hut, one of their, like, discontinued ones I found on Amazon. And I have a Suave cherry blossom body wash. So I wanted a lotion and a body spray. So I just got the Bodycology cherry blossom body lotion and body spray. I also got a Johnson's baby oil. I ran out of my baby oil from the dollar store, so I just grabbed one from Walmart. And then, as per Living Ash request, this is the Johnson's Baby Cologne, which I'm so hyped about. I wanted to try it out. And last but not least, I got, finally, I'm trying an Uda Juice body spray. I've been wanting to for so long. Eventually, I actually want to try the perfume if I really like the body spray. But this one is the Uda Juice 100% Chilled Body Mist. And this was the one I smelled all four of them, and I liked this scent the best. It, like, reminds me of something that I have already. But I did also like the, I think it was the pink one. I didn't like the purple or yellow one. The Sugar Scrub. I think it was like five dollars and something I don't really know because I bought it online so it's not on this receipt the bodycology body cream was $3.97 the baby clone was $2.92 the bodycology body mist was $3.97 the baby oil was $3.86 and the Uda juice body spray was $7.98 that was everything that I got from this Walmart and I think that was pretty much everything that I got in total because yeah I finished going through all the bags I'm so happy with everything I got like I probably spent over $100 but I promise guys like I'm really taking a break with hygiene shopping for a while i definitely have a collective haul that i want to do for you guys too but i really do need to take a break because um i have money saved up but i don't want to be spending all my money on this stuff because i'm sure that there's going to be other things that i want to spend on in the future and i definitely need to start being a little bit more cautious but there's so many new products for me to try and re like recommend to you guys and i'm super excited to do that because that's one of my favorite things to do i also just wanted to know real quick that i don't ever buy this much stuff at once like this is not a common thing for me to 
to do is like buying a ton of things it was literally because i wanted to do this video and because i want to have some more products to review for you guys because i feel like majority of my products are like bath and body works and victoria's secret and they all kind of work the same so i definitely want to try out new things but like i said i don't typically do this like normally i'm buying my hygiene products like over time but i did just go on like a little hygiene shopping spree today and i'm really happy with what i got please no hate okay i really hope that you guys liked this video if you did like this video and want me to do more videos like this in the future make sure to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below hit that subscribe button and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys